something that's become very popular over the past few years with the introduction of smaller and highly durable video cameras is using them for filming purposes while tuning a car. I'm joined by Tim Anderson here at Race Pack, and you guys have taken a very interesting approach when it comes to using this. Yes, Jessica, what we've done is we've allowed the uh, uh, data acquisition customer to now sync up their camera, whether it be the GoPro or the Replay XD camera, uh, with the data uh, using modules that we created. What this allows them to do is instead of just turning the camera on before the run or before their outing and just let it run randomly, is when the data logger starts recording, it actually turns the camera on at the same time, allowing the data and the video to be e easily synced up. So when they download the video and sync it with the data, it's a much easier process. Well, tell me how you guys did this. What is it that you're using? Uh, basically, we're using one of our standard VNet modules, which is just a module that connects to a sensor. In this case, it connects to a particular camera. For the GoPro, it has a unique connector. And for the replay, it has a unique connector. In the case of the uh, replay, it's actually streaming some information back to us, so it allows us to actually know where the camera is in terms of frame count and that type of stuff. Most anything, these cameras, you see these GoPro cameras stuck all over cars, the outside of the car pointing towards their feet, uh, on the rear looking over the spoiler, parachute out the front of the car. Most anything, we use it in closed course racing, tractor pulling, drag racing, offshore boats, motorcycles. Really, uh, anything has a data recorder and has a camera with the GoPro and with the replay, just connect it up the same as the sensor and away you go. So what are they doing? They're able to actually look at what the vehicle or the, the power sport vehicle, whatever it is, did, and then they're able to go back and look at their map and maybe figure out what maybe needs to be changed to make the run a little better? Right, yeah. Part of it is an actual data, uh, an exercise in data that they use the video, especially for drag racing, the rear of the car, watching the car launch, the tire spin, all that type of stuff, the roll of the body. Close course, they may be looking at their feet, they're shifting, uh, what they're doing in terms of driving, their hand and uh, steering throttle brake inputs, the actual visual part of that. And then some of it's also an entertainment per, uh, factor also, yeah. So what was it that you were hearing from people? I mean, obviously with these cameras, you have to kind of bend and twist and turn in order to turn them on. So from now on, they have this where it starts right when you start your pass. Right, yeah, once you get belted into a race car, one of the biggest problems is you can't reach the camera. So typically either you or the crewman will turn the camera on and you're rolling through the staging right. lanes and, and drag racing, you're rolling through for five minutes the camera's running the whole time, then you get back and you have six seconds of data and five seconds of video and you're searching through the video trying to actually sync it all up. This allows the video and the data to instantly be synced up when you download it. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Tim. Very informative. You guys, this is a really cool new product. I suggest that you go check out their website in order to get a hold of it. It is racepack.com. <laughs>